I'm third generation Churchill. My kids are fourth generation and my grandchildren are fifth generation. I am originally from Austria and I came here to do research for my PhD project. Like so many people who come to Churchill, people say you either love it or you hate it. I loved it. What we're doing now, we're just continuing on our fence. I think the biggest uh, step is having our access back. I mean, like we had our rail line and our and, and the airport. Um, right now, we're just down to air traffic. To have economic development and to and to move forward up here in the north, we really need to have affordable access. A round trip ticket to Churchill right now on the airplane is fourteen hundred dollars return to Winnipeg, and if you drove to Thompson and you got the train from Thompson to Churchill, it's about one hundred and twenty dollars. Bringing stuff in by airplane is what we are doing now, which make, makes it like three times as expensive as it is uh, normally. Sovereignty, global warming, watching our north, keeping track of what's going on in our north is a big issue. And the only way that we're going to solve those issues and to keep a watchful eye on our Arctic is to have a presence up here. Now, if everyone moves south because it's too expensive to live up here, then what's going to happen to our north? To me, it has a certain flair of adventure still. It's so different to what I was used to. Um, and even though I've kind of learned and embodied a few changes and things, but it's still, it's just a completely different world. When I first got here, I felt like I'm a different planet compared to, you know, the rolling hills of Austria. And then you come here and you're on the shore of the Hudson Bay. You have polar bears around you. You have belugas. I can see them on my way to work. Immigrants often feel like you can kind of reinvent yourself if you move to a new place. So to me, that is true here as well.